The issue of GMOs, genetically modified organisms, in our food supply is one of the most important and controversial issues in the food industry today. And it's playing out in the regulatory system, it's playing out in courts, most importantly, it's playing out in the court of public opinion. On the one hand, you have what we can call big food, which has the gigantic task of feeding the population and feeding the global population. On the other hand, we have what you can call the food movement, which is hearkening back, looking back to older ways of agriculture, to more family farms, to more organic farming, not relying on the monoculture and the huge crops associated with agribusiness. The main GMO crops in our food supply are corn, soy, and canola. And these are pervasive in the foods that we eat. So in that sense, uh, GMO foods are here and with us. And there isn't a shred of evidence that they've caused any kind of health damage to consumers or envi environmental damage. On the other hand, anti-GMO forces really have been waging a very effective public relations battle, both in the US and internationally. And there are these questions, what are the long-term ramifications of GMO in terms of the environment, in terms of monoculture, in terms of biodiversity, and also in terms of the increasing control of the global food supply by a handful of companies. One thing our report looks at is the regulatory component of this entire issue. And it's a very tricky component because on the one hand, soy, corn, canola, and also cotton are heavily subsidized crops by the Farm Bill. So it wouldn't make a lot of sense for the Department of Agriculture to come in and flag the products that in itself is subsidizing as somehow problematic in the U.S. food supply. On the other hand, there's a legitimate question of whether um, foods with these GMO ingredients can be labeled as natural. And that's one thing that's playing out in courts in California. The non-GMO product industry is intertwined with the organic foods industry. And in fact, can be said to be giving a shot, in, a shot in the arm to the case for buying organics. We predict that this market will grow at a 17% growth rate through 2017. But in our report, we also model several alternative scenarios and look at some of the variables that will affect that. One of the most important variables coming up will be the degree to which the American consumer accepts meat, fish, and poultry products that have been fed bioengineered GMO ingredients. For more than 50 years, Package Facts has published detailed market intelligence studies for the consumer goods and services industries, with a specific emphasis on the food and beverage, pet, and financial services sectors. Each Package Facts report is constructed from the ground up with primary and secondary research, including in-depth interviews with executives and industry experts. Our analysts have extensive experience in the industries they cover, and their reports provide the essential market data with meaningful segmentations and forecasts, key competitive intelligence, and insights into the trends shaping the market's future.